see how we can install XAMPP on Windows 11. Type download XAMPP for Windows 11. Search and click on this first result from apachefriends.org. Make sure the website is this. Click on download XAMPP. And here you will see these options. Now you can choose which PHP version to install XAMPP for. PHP 8.2, 8.1 or 8.0. Now we will install the latest 8.2 click on download 64 bit and now you will see this option your download will start automatically if it does not click here the download should start automatically but but for some reason it has not started yet okay as you can see now it has started and it will take quite some time okay, as you can see here the file is complete now you can double click on it to open or just click on open file now you will see this option or you might not see this option as you can see here it says it is showing that antivirus is running. In some cases, this might slow down the interface or interfere with the installation. No one need to worry about this. Just click on yes. Click on yes again. Click on next. Leave these all selected. No need to change any of these. Click next again. And this is where your XAMPP will be installed. Click next. I had already installed XAMPP and it is saying that the folder is not empty and it is asking me to choose a different folder. If you don't have this folder called XAMPP without files in it, this next click will work right now is I'll just go here and I will delete my existing okay so I will have to C drive and I will just delete the whole folder I already had installed and these files were remaining from the previous uninstall so now you can click on next and click next again and now you can see XAMPP is installing. As you can see the download and install is complete now and this is checked here no need to do anything with this just click on finish and XAMPP control panel will open. So we have all these modules here these five modules now most of the time you will only need to use Apache and MySQL let's see if this works or not start this and it is now running. We can also start MySQL and see if it's working or not. And as you can see, both of these are working. Let's go to our browser and type localhost and see if it works or not. As you can see, XAMPP is now working. Let's check if PHP MyAdmin works or not. And as you can see, PHP MyAdmin is also working. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.